So right off the bat, I need to mention this. By the title saying that this moveset will teach you Ultra Instinct, I don't mean that in the sense that you will unlock an Awoken or you'll learn some sort of in-game ability called Ultra Instinct or Master of Self Movement or anything like that. What I mean by it is that if you use this moveset or something similar to it, you will play much, much better for something that I've realised while using it. And I'll get into that later on during this video. So, hello everyone. For today's video, this is actually a no-key themed moveset. I forget who suggested this. I think it was Matt. You guys know Matt, but I'm not entirely sure. So guys, leave those themed moveset suggestions in the comments and the best ones will be used for future videos. Very quickly, because I want to get into these fights here. Four supers. Giga Boost, Backflip, Spirit Boost, and Fake Death, two Ultimates, the Breaker Energy Wave, also known as the Angry Kamehameha, and Last Emperor, also known as You Must Die With My Hand, fantastic names, Transformation, Future Super Saiyan, and for my base, if I have Instant Raise. Guys, let's get into the first fight for this video. And also guys, probably in the second or the third fight for this video, I'll mention the green screen slash face cam situation. Long so short, it's still happening, but I need to work out some technical bugs. Um, again, I'll mention it later on in this video. Okay, so, also the Super I'm using, I believe it's Buhan Super which you get this from one of the five new pedal quests from, from, <laughs> from guys, um, from, DLC 5 slash extra pack 1 plus another those 2. Now it's got two effects. Firstly, I believe when you have max stamina, it will temporarily activate or well, key recovery for like a certain amount of time. And when you have max key, which is perfect for this moveset, and I'll mention that, yeah, I'll mention one in a second, it will consistently give you um, a small increase, I believe it is, to your yeah, speed, uh, speed boost there. If I can talk down, I'm tired. Uh, it'll give you a small increase to your. Uh, Stamina recovery, which is perfect. I mean, again, when I have max key or any key at all in this moveset, there's nothing I can do at all that will drain any of my stamina. I, I mean, sorry, oh man, I wish. Any of my key. There we go. I'll get. The game's on a bit of like a year and a half at this point. I'll. I'll get it right one day, I promise. Um, yep, yeah, so. The only way I can lose key on this build will be if my partner went. You know, if they have like a certain super soul, I'm sure there's a few super souls I do that. Or if they, like they use, um, uh, like what, Hyper Drain or Drain Field or Drain Charge, whatever it's called, or Super Drain, whatever. So I won't lose key from my own playstyle, I guess, if that makes sense, I don't know. So they brought my guard, and I think the Hurricane in the bottom just respawned in all good stuff, whatever. So he's level 92, and I think as this was happening, like I think I realised that this guy didn't use any sort of supers or ultimates. Wow, okay, fantastic, and of course I'm using a few. Now, I will say this, Spirit Boost, I believe it cancels out like basic key blasts if they hit you. It's kind of useful, but nowhere in this video do I use it. So I would replace that next time with like maybe even like a charge attack or more, or, or actually like a charge attack or something that may be more useful. I'm trying, yeah, I'm just trying to think, maybe instant transmission, or maybe like a um, pause, who knows. So here I got, well I burst in after Future Super Saiyan, very nice there. Um, yeah, and also, yeah, do ask me how I got that pepper block up there from that, um, <laughs> from that key, that's I have no idea. Their backflip, uh, most, I guess, like, low budget ultra instinct move, yeah, movement there. Now, the reason why I said that this, uh, moveset will teach you ultra instinct is because it sucks. <laughs> okay, it doesn't suck because you have stuff like fake death and the breaker energy cannon, the angry Kamehameha, and, you know, Last Ember, which can be useful, and I'll go over those in a moment. Future Super Saiyan, you know, as well. With this Super Soul, which is great, and of course, Instant Roads. I'm like, what else do we have? Um, like, some of the other skills I have, but definitely not Spirit Boost, because that's useless in this video. Um, but the thing is, with this moveset, it's going to force you to play better, smarter, maybe not faster, but it's going to basically make you play better in Dragon Ball Z and Universe 2. And if you don't, then, well, you get your ass kicked. Because, I mean, yes, it's I mean, it's just not the best move set. Like, of course it's not. So my super soul activates there, so I'm going to permanently now for the rest of this video have a small increase in my stamina recovery. Yeah, unless, of course, my partner goes like a, char uh, a charge attack, a drain attack, or they have a, su yeah, like a um, super soul. I forget what's, if there is a super soul or whatever it's called that drains your opponent's key after like, a certain thing. I can't remember. If you guys can, yeah, if you guys can remember, Feel free to let me know in the comments of this video. Now in a moment, yeah, right there, I got for Instant Rise. Now that was actually, surprisingly enough, that was actually deliberate something. Well, Instant Rise, it's fast. 
So maybe if he wasn't paying attention, he may get flanked or a bit confused like a second or so. Very nice hit detection there where I went for the, uh, the um, smash, even though he jumped. Great, and it clearly hit him. Fantastic. Um, so yeah, so again, well, not again, but I should mention the green screen situation on the face videos. video. Green screen's here. I'll, I'll still hurt. Um, not on the case right there. Only issue is that I have a bad light source. So if I try to call, uh, call my if I try to chroma key myself in, so it's like you can't see the background and like I'll be in like the bottom left of the screen or bottom right or wherever I decide to put myself at the end, it's not going to look right and actually right now it looks really stupid because I'm only using my light from my room. Now, I think tomorrow, if you're watching this video when it goes live, my, well I've ordered like a few, actually three I think, no not three definitely, um, LED um, like adhesive wall light strips, so hopefully I can put those up by my TV so, you know, I'll be able to actually be like lit up. Yes fam, hashtag lit what? Um, so yeah, I hope that way I'll be able to actually put myself in, you know, do face on videos properly. Unless you guys don't mind seeing just like a green screen behind me with nothing chroma keyed in and I would just be on like the bottom left. That seems to be pointless to me. But again guys, if you, if, you know, if that's something that you want and I'm still having issues with this, I will of course do that because face on videos are actually really fun. Okay, so this guy picks Villainous Mode Broly. Again, my Super Dots kick in now. I want to make him vanish and then go for Future Super Saiyan right there. Very nice. Sends him flying back and unprotected. And he just quite literally wasted two bars off his stamina. And with that being said, I do perfect block. I drop out of Future Super Saiyan there. Um, fake death. Don't know why he goes for the uh, his ultimate problem. Broly's attack, apart from Blaster, Omega, Omega, whatever. I can't remember what he called. And a gigantic slam, which is only valuable to him. I do wonder if I might be future updates in Xenoverse 2 or Xenoverse 3 or another game, who knows, that has like avatar creations, my voice cracked, my butter dries on 12. Um, if we'll get some sort of ability similar to that for our Saiyan avatars or um, avatars in general, whatever. So yeah, here, break his, well, I broke his guard again as he went for his ultimate type thing, into the swing kick, into the angry coming my heart, and that is the game. Very nice, right there. Now, you guys know what my two ultimates are for this specific moveset right here. I've used these two before for like previous Fiend moveset videos and just videos in general, I think. Like, it's a fun pair to run to some extent, but as you'll see in this fight, I think they're very situational, or rather, it's going to suck if you fail using them. So, the Breaker Angel Cannon, also known as just the Angry Comet Meha, that's literally what it is. Why they call it the Breaker Angel Wave or the Breaker Angel Cannon, whatever it's called, I don't know. But both of these skills they can only be used once per battle. Um, actually, is it once per battle or is it once per life? So if it's well life, you know, so if it's like a team match, could like, and you get uh, knocked out and revived, does it reset them? I don't know. Again, guys, if you do know that, like if you actually know that, like you've tested it, do let me know. That would be interesting. Uh, but the Great Angel Wave. Again, you can use it once per fight, and that's only when your opponent has flashing red health. I said that weird. Flash. <laughs> Fleshing, wow. I really can't talk today, I've just been tired all day. Oh my god, I might be having a stroke. Um, but you can only use it when your opponent has flashing red health. Um, there you go, for the Kudu Supernova. I perfect block it and get completely wrecked by it, so I'll go for my evasive. Look cool to begin with, but I got completely stunned there. So again, you can use once per fight when your opponent has flashing red health, like right here, but it takes no keystone or health to use. And I failed there, so I cannot use that skill again in this video. And Last Emperor is the, but it's not the opposite to it, but again, Last Emperor, once per fight, uh, very nice view there, uh, once per fight, and that's when you have flashing red health. And of course, it takes no key, no stamina, no health to use. There, he's in Super Saiyan 3, isn't he? Or Super Saiyan 2, I don't know. Going for a warp, big bang, come on, her. I was kind of expecting him just to go for a second one immediately after. I uh, didn't. I think I went for the back foot to try and get out of it. It didn't work. I probably should have like, left off, turned around, every now and then I get a little bit lonely, and then use it like that so it would have shot behind me, kind of. I don't know, maybe I'll do some future if I do run a um, back foot. So, in a moment, I will have flashing red health. I don't know why he didn't break my guard here, because if he actually hit, and you know, he actually did hit, and he was like a false hit away, or uh, whatever. That would have broken my guard and I may be screwed. So here I do break his guard with the heavy stand break into last emperor. Very nice pose right there. Kind of looks like Super Roll Day Aura. Um right there. Maybe I'll do a video on that in the future. Who knows? Okay, so I think there's gonna be one fight left for this video, maybe two, I'm not entirely sure. So this guy nailed therefore 87 and he picks his male sign avatar. What a surprise. Okay. So my Super Soul, again, it's activated now. That's because, well, at the time, I had max stamina. So I would temporarily have 
key auto recover so very nice there. He goes for his value, I forget what it's called, it's, it's um, Future Gohans, it's part of like the free mental update thing that happened like I think the same time as DLC 1, not Extra Pack 1, but DLC 1, the first DLC, or rather the first paid DLC for Dragon Ball Zenobus 2, if you guys don't know how to get those. Uh, so yeah, he's got Divine Repurification and Final Flash, so to me at least, it's safe to assume that he's probably the key base player there. I actually went for that Homer Dash expecting to transform into probably, let's be fair, Super Vegeta 2, but no, he went for Divine Rapification. And he went for it just before I hit him, so I don't know if he panicked and meant to go for something else. But if he went for Final Flash, that would have broke his guard anyway, who knows. Uh, so yeah, he, I mean, very nice pep lock there, when I went for the full charge smash. There, the um, right standard break. Uh, I want to say he made me game in a moment, will he? Uh, no, okay, so there, I tried to go for the break at Angel Wave, it didn't work, so. Great, fantastic. So they just go for Super, uh, Super Vegeta 2, Super Saiyan 2, whatever. He goes for yet another Divine Replication. I don't know why, I was right there. So I thought to break his guard, got a bit of a combo on him, into the angry combat with my heart, and that is game. Very nice there, okay. One fight left, I believe, for this video. Uh, I want to say this guy picks his, um, who does he pick? Oh yeah, this guy picks his male Earthling avatar. And I believe for his two ultimates, he has Spirit Sword, I think I saw. And I think I saw either Final Combat with heart or Final Flash. And I didn't, well, I, I did scan up his entire moveset, but it must have just gone completely out of my head. But this guy is also running Phantom Fist, surprisingly enough. Do you guys remember when Phantom Fist was all propelled in Zenoverse 1 and broken? Actually, I think it's still is. If you go on back and play Zenoverse 1 right now, I believe it's still vastly broken. Or did they change it so it takes one bar of key, or did they do that for Zenoverse 2? I can't remember. But basically, from Zenoverse 1 to Zenoverse 2, Phantom Fist now takes one bar of key, and it's actually quite slow to activate. But because I've not faced anybody who's actually even ran it, apart from like people who use the first preset of hit, you know, just like his normal preset, not his Awoken, or I guess like his time skip or his pure progress variants, just like his normal preset one uh, preset, I guess you could call it. Look, I forgot how to, I guess I like, deal with it. So here, my super activates because I've got max key or max stamina, I forget which one it is. Uh, so yeah, I'm in future super stamina already. This guy's weird on when it's going to vanish. So I think that was the second time I went for fag death, but I'm only going to use fag death a total of twice before he, I mean I'll just mention it, before he starts spamming to some extent. Phantom Fist there, first in and out of Future Super Saiyan. Uh, went for the back hit there, but he hit him just yeah, before he could actually uh, get the back hit off. There, I got my own back hit as he vanishes, so just wise two bars of uh, stamina there, very nice. Into the back flip. Kind of surprised I'm right there. I mean, I was guessing he's running potential on these, probably not the Pell Pole Pro form, and I highly doubt he'd be running Kaioken. So yeah, here I do think it gets a bit desperate, so he went for one Phantom Fist there, another one there. I mean, yeah, it's my fault for falling for it. Another one right there as well. Got the timing too slow. I mean, it worked, but I think I was maybe slightly too slow um, when he actually went for it, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, just why, like, the fight's almost over, but it should have been over a while ago, but given that it's going to be quite heavy, I think in the moment, using Phantom Fist, I don't know why I went for Spirit Explosion now, I think I actually meant to go for Fag Death. Uh, yeah, oh, it's just wild though, it's like Phantom, like Phantom Fist, wow, okay. Like, I would love to do like a sort of all propelled in Xenoverse 1 moveset, so Phantom Fist, um, Symphonic Destruction, uh, what else do we have, maybe Super Death Strike or Super Fashion Ball, they go for the grab last game, so maybe he didn't spam Phantom Fist, maybe I just remembered it wrong. Guys, with that being said, thank you for watching, I do hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.